Hey, welcome back to the wonderful world of Warhammer. Uh, I, I just missed recording it uh, literally just a few seconds ago, but uh, okay, flashback. Uh, we are here on turn 110. Uh, I was... There we go. I was just hanging out replenishing my army over here waiting for them to replenish and suddenly there was this cutscene revealing some trickster demon god who's kind of trying to rival my position in chaos and they arrived where was it over here yeah he arrived over here somewhere in Ostland so all right in any case uh that was a surprise. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> so, uh, in any case, um, pr looks like I'm going to have to deal with some chaos infighting later on. But before I get there, before I do that, I have got some stuff to take care of. So, my army has mostly recovered. So, I think... Let me get a quick save here. I think I am going to make another attempt to do the quest. Star Crusher. So I am going to try. Yeah, I am going to try for this one. Uh, let me see. There we go. That's how I do it. So yeah, I am going to try for this one again. Yeah, cuz that's that's not that strong. Let's teleport. Good. All right, let's see if I can actually win this time. Fight. I remember the first time I fought this one, I I I thought there was such a good chance that I'd be able to pull it off because they've got this tiny army. But then the undead came. Okay, so let's move. Let's re refresh my memory about these guys here. So I've got one, two. Excellent. Only two ranged units to kind of deal with. Uh, but yeah, if I remember correctly, they are kind of a pain to deal with. So. Get those over here. Get these guys here. My chosen I want over here. They're gonna be slow as hell. Uh, these guys, let's get behind our chariot units. And there we go. Let's start the battle. gonna go ahead send them right in plunging into there uh, the hell cannon let's go ahead and set here attacking their lord uh, actually you know what yeah let's attack these orc boys and move them up Same thing, take these guys, move them up. Get 
these. Let's, uh, no. Let's send like this for now. I like that fancy way pointing. And let's move these guys forward a bit as well. Maybe attack them for now. All right. Initial movements are all set. Let's begin. I like the helpful hint over here. Attack and defeat the enemy army. Very helpful. Good, 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 good. Yeah, battle has been joined there. Let's see. There we go. And, ah, uh, okay. Maybe, maybe I don't have enough. There we go. Make sure skirmish mode is on. Okay. Let's just move these guys back a little bit for now. There. Alright, let's get these guys forward, attack these goblin raiders. Good, alright, chariots are still moving. There we go. Excellent. So that guy... We can see, yeah, let's go ahead and see how that'll go. Uh, yeah, activate this. And let's get his special ability there. And there. They're gonna get taken out really quick. Good. Good. Alright, these guys... I don't know why they were flashing red. Whoa! Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I forgot about my hell cannon. And he just doesn't... There we go. There's one. Go. God, they're down to five units. There we go. Get those out of there. Go 
send them in. Alright, so I have my Hell Cannon back. But, you know, let's go ahead and move it forward. Yeah, so there's some more undead. Um, let's move two units up there, and somehow they are still just hanging in there. Let's get him in there and see if we can take out the archers. That is an excellent spell. They should be okay, I'm thinking. Yeah, so here comes the terror geist. Yeah, over there. Let's have those guys attack it. And I just sent these guys in to help, but... Yeah, okay, here comes the final one. That group of reinforcements over there. Paragyst is basically down. I'd like to see if I can take out... Wait, that's the Vargeist. Where's... Fuck. The Terrorgeist is not basically down. <laughs> Change of plans. And these guys... You and you... Need to move up. Alright, yeah, these Vargeists are basically down. The Terrorgeist is getting there. Not sure exactly what is wrong with these guys. They should be able to move in this direction without too much trouble. There's the Orc Boys. I've never had a proper look at these guys. Wow, alright, so these gore beasts are basically gorillas. Huh. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough one to take out. I remember having a really tough time dealing with those hex wraiths. So. Let's just check. So these are armor piercing. They do qualify as cavalry. Uh, it almost makes me wish that it would show me some kind of weakness that they have. Ethereal.
are done most damage by non-magical weapons. So, apparently just plain old regular... Not a hundred percent sure what happened with that guy there, but he seems to have frozen. These guys, let's move forward. Yeah, Kolek definitely has to move up. These three definitely have to move up. There we go. Okay. So here... I'm gonna send these guys to try to take out those hex rays. Uh, what else can I do here? These guys... Let's go and charge them. There we go. Let me get ready to pull these ones back. Good. Alright, so they got... Let's move them back here. Okay, before things get too totally crazy. Yeah, I'm actually gonna send Kolek Sun Eater just to harass those zombies. These guys should be able to take care of themselves in terms of those there. Um, for magic... Yeah, I'm hoping that's a good place to put Launch that one. And... Have them attack there. You know, I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna... I'm gonna send Kolek back. There we go. Send Kolek in there to attack their lord. 
Excellent. Alright, good. They're going down. Right, most of my units are looking pretty healthy. Excellent. That's basically it right there. Who still is left? I, there we go. I was gonna say, I don't see anybody outstanding. Ha! Wow, I lost 97 troops. 864, 1754, 240, and 37 there. Yeah, excellent. Alright, so again, I'm going to go with Sacrificing. Oh, yeah, Sacrificing the Captives. Again, hopefully that'll get me closer to being able to get Acheron the Everchosen as an additional Lord. So, Sacrifice. Good, we got an extra trait. Touched by the Gods. Cool. And my quest is successful. I now have Star Crusher. <clears throat> Excuse me. And these guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Okay, that's why I thought I didn't have it. Yeah, all right. I do have it. So everybody who's on the map automatically gets a plus 12 weakness to fire damage. Uh, let's go ahead and get this one just because it will, it's kind of a nice counter to this buff here. So. That one there. And Colex Sun Eater has got a level up. Da da! Star Crusher! Sweet. Ah. Uh, dun dun dun. Right, I was gonna go with this one, I think, because the first level is plus three, and then plus eight, and then plus fifteen percent. So just getting the first level will increase it by 3%. Excellent. So... Da, da, da. There we go. We are back here. For chaos. How is this? Yeah, I actually... Seven... Five... Six... Eight... <laughs> huh. Alright, well let's... Again, kind of rest these guys up a little bit. Apparently, the AI thinks that I am not sacking things enough. Let me see, so I'm at 7 population surplus. Again, if I want to build any of these... Or this one. I'm gonna need quite a bit more population surplus. 
let's go ahead and send this guy out exploring a little bit. Okay, there we go. There's the... If you can call that a settlement? <laughs> I guess. I guess that's a settlement. Maybe. Alright, so... Yeah, God. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, just gonna cut the video there. Um, uh, it's gonna take a little while for some of these units to recover. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't want to run through the whole time that, that these guys are just sitting there doing nothing. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the epic quest battle. Now, Colex Sun Eater has the Star Crusher. So uh, hopefully I'll get to see that in battle next time. And thank you all for watching.